Hello and welcome to this video on creating personalized dashboards in Intelligus. In this video we will show you how easily you can create meaningful dashboard with simple drag and drop actions. Let us begin. To create a dashboard, we first need to open an analytical object or data cube. I am going to use the internet sales cube here. Right click on the cube name row and then select the browse analytical object option. This opens the canvas where we can design our dashboard using the different dimensions and measures of the cube. This cube has data related to sales of different sports accessories in different locations. Let us create a dashboard to analyze the sale and the revenue here. To get started, drag any dimension on the canvas. I want to first know the net revenue per year. For this, let us use the delivery date, fiscal dimension here. When you drag the dimension, by default, a matrix table is created. Let us now change the chart type to 2D bar chart. You can further edit the chart properties as per your requirement. For example, to remove the scroll bar, you can uncheck, show scroll bar option in the properties tab. You can also change the name of a chart as per the value it depicts. Let us name it as, net revenue per year. Now, to know the overall sales amount, I am using the manufacture time dimension and setting measures as sales amount, order quantity, and transaction count. Let me edit the chart properties to create a counter chart that shows me the total sales amount total number of orders processed and total count of transactions. Next, I want to analyze the profit made from the sale of these products. For this, I will use product category dimension and set gross profit, gross profit margin, and total product cost as measures. Let me quickly edit the chart to create a counter that summarizes total profit made, profit margin percentage and the total cost of the products sold. Now. If I want to know what was the total sales amount or net revenue from different products, I can quickly add that widget here to my dashboard. For this, let us use the product category as dimension and order quantity and sales amount as measures. I am using a bar chart to depict these insights. You can also add a line chart on the bar chart to indicate the trends in values. Let us do it for order quantity, add a Y1 axis, check order quantity and select type as line. Next. I am creating a widget to know what was the total order quantity for each product type. Here, you can further drill down to gain detailed insights on the order quantity and sales amount of each product within the category. You can also do a location-wise analysis here. I am using a pie chart to represent this info. Next, let me add a widget to show top selling products. Here, I am arranging the chart values in descending order to view the best selling product first. Our dashboard is now ready. You can further analyze these insights by applying filters and drilling down into deeper details. Let us say we just want to analyze sales dashboard for the year 2017. So, we will right click on 2017 and select filter. When we apply a filter, all the widgets refresh to show the relevant results. Dashboard widgets in Intellicus are interlinked so that users get a seamless experience and can drill down and view different parameters in a single screen. You can apply multiple filters in a dashboard as well. For example, to analyze sales dashboard for Australia in the year 2017, I will add that filter. The sales dashboard now shows the details for Australia that happened in the year 2017. This was a quick overview of how easily you can create dashboards with smart visualizations in Intellicus. To know more about our analytical capabilities, reach out to us as info at the rate or visit www.intellicus.com. Thanks for watching.